The Trojan War was a legendary conflict in Greek mythology between the Achaean Greeks against the city of Troy. The war is one of the most important events in Greek mythology and it has been narrated through many works of Greek literature, most notably Homer's Iliad. The core of the Iliad, books 2 to 23, describes a period of four days and two nights in the tenth year of the decade-long siege of Troy. The key to unlocking the historic Trojan War, in my opinion, is to first identify who exactly the Trojans, the Amazons, and the Achaeans were in history, because these were the major players in the Iliad. In my previous video titled, Historical Troy was in Eupatoria, near the Amazon city of Themyscira on the Black Sea southern coast. I talked about the alliance between the Trojans and the Amazons during the war, and how close was Themyscira, the capital of the Amazons, to the city of Troy, which I identified as Eupatoria, just 65 kilometers away from each other. In that video, I concluded, based on Homer's descriptions, that the city of Troy must be located near the conjunction of two rivers, namely Iskamander, which I identified as the Iris or Yesilermak River, and the Simois River, which I identified as the Lycus or Celtic River. And Eupatoria, just like Troy, was located just south of where the Lycus flows into the Iris River. Both Eupatoria and Themyscira were near the southern coast of the Black Sea in Turkey, in a region also known as the Pontic region of Asia Minor in northern Anatolia, Turkey. Also, in my other video titled, Troy was Hayasa, Amazon was Azi, Ania was Achilles, and Mosiris eclipse on Trojan War's 10th year, I identified the Trojan Amazon Alliance as the Hayasa Azi Confederation located in the Pontic region of Asia Minor, where also Eupatoria and Themyscira were located. I specifically identified Hayasa as Troy and Azi as Amazon. I ended that video by saying, that Mosiri II's historical solar eclipse was visible at the mouth of the Yesilirmak River, where according to Homer, the Trojan War battles were fought on August 2, 979 BC at 2.31.30 UTC, just 17 minutes after sunrise. That day also marked the death of Patroclus, a close friend of Achilles, during the 10th year of the Trojan War. I dated Mosiris' eclipse using Stellarium in my video titled Redating Mosiri II's solar eclipse to August 2, 979 BC means Hittite chronology is 334 years too early. This eclipse occurred in the latter part of Mosiris' 10th year, thus Mosiris' first year when he ascended the Hittite throne coincided with the first year of the Trojan War. In this video, I will now identify the historical personages and their associated character names in the Iliad which documented the Trojan War. First, let me identify King Priam of Troy who married Hecuba, the daughter of King Dimas of Phrygia. Hakani was a Hayasan king and in my research, the Trojan king Priam, who proceeded to marry the sister of Supi Luliuma I, a Hittite king. Supi Luliuma's father was the Hittite king Tud Halia II, who I identify as King Dimas of Phrygia. Thus, the unnamed sister of Supi Luliuma and daughter of Tud Halia was Hecuba, while the Phrygians of Iliad 
were the Hittites of history in my research. Dimas is said by Homer to have had a son named Otreus, who fought the Amazons together with a young Priam a generation before the Trojan War, but was not part of the Trojan War. Dimas had another son named Asius, who fought in the Trojan War but did not die in the narrative of the Iliad. I believe Otreus was King Supiluluma, one of the sons of King Tudhalia, and Asius was Zida, which some historians believe was probably the brother of Supiluluma and therefore a probable son of Tudhalia. Musili was the third born son of King Supiluluma, one of the most powerful men to rule over the Hittite Empire. Musili assumed the Hittite or Hatti throne after the premature death of Arnuwanda II, who, like their father Supiluluma, fell victim to the plague which ravaged the Hittites shortly before Musili's reign started. Since I believe the start of Mursili's reign coincided with the first year of the Trojan War, this means Supiluluma was already dead when the war started. Tudhalia the Younger was the son and the intended heir of Tudhalia. He was eliminated by his brother Supiluluma on his way to kingship, and therefore he too was already dead when the Trojan War started. This leaves only Zida as the other probable son of Tudhalia who could have fought during the Trojan War. And this is why I believe Zida was Asius while Supiluluma was Otreus who did not fight in the Trojan War. When Supiluluma was still a general of his father Tudhalia, he was sent to defeat Hayasa Azi. The Hittite campaign resulted in the conquest of Hayasa, for subsequently Supiluluma established it as a Hittite vassal state after drawing up a treaty with Hakana, the current ruler of Hayasa at that time. This treaty was sealed by the marriage of Hakani or Hakana to Supiluluma's sister and daughter of Tudhalia, who in my research was also Hecuba, wife of King Priam in the Iliad. Although there is no known record in history of Tudhalia and Supiluluma fighting the Aziz or the Amazons, I believe a Hittite military campaign also happened against the Amazons after the peace treaty between the Hittites and the Hayasans was sealed. It was during this war that the Hayasan king Hakani, who was also the young Trojan king Priam that time, fought together with Supiluluma, who I believe was Atreus, as allies to subjugate the Amazons. This story was narrated by the aging Priam to Helen. Migdon of Phrygia was a Phrygian king mentioned fighting in this war together with Priam and Atreus, while Dimas or Tudhalia, another king of Phrygia, was not mentioned. I believe Migdon of Phrygia was Arnuwanda I who became king after marrying Asmunikal, daughter of King Tudhalia. Arnuwanda began his reign under a co-regency with Tudhalia. However, historians differentiated Arnuwanda's father-in-law Tudhalia from the Tudhalia who was the father of Supiluluma. According to historians, Arnuwanda's father-in-law Tudhalia was the grandfather of Tudhalia who was the father of Supiluluma. Historians, however, admit that the proper numbering of the Hittite rulers who bore the name Tudhalia is problematic to them. Just like in the case of Persian kings, there were no appellations or numbering such as the first the second, and so on, among Hittite kings having the same name. And in my video titled, Daniel 70 Weeks Part 1, Correcting Errors in Persian Chronology by Redating Historical Eclipses, I showed how chronological errors were made when astronomical tablets were assigned to the wrong kings whose names were shared by more than one Persian king. 
like in the case of Artaxerxes I and Artaxerxes II. I believe Anwanda's father-in-law and Supiluyuma's father were one and the same to Dhalia, who was named Dimas in the Iliad. The co-regency between Migdon and Dimas would explain why Asius, son of Dimas and brother of Hecuba, and another Phrygian prince named Corebus, son of Migdon, both fought during the Trojan War. To summarize this video, in my research of Greek mythology combined with Hittite history, Priam was Hakani, Dimas was Tudhalia, the father of Tupilunyuma I, Hecuba was the unnamed daughter of Tudhalia and sister of Supiluyuma, Atreus was Supiluyuma, Asius was Zida, Migdon of Phrygia was Arnuanda I, son-in-law of Tudhalia and brother-in-law of Supiluyuma.